this is um, pretty important what I'm about to say. Uh, back in like the 1200s, uh, there was a Swahili tribes leader named Tonga Uk Inge. And Lord Tonga was warring against another tribe in Africa. And when they took the tribes, uh, they would take them out, stake them on the ground, and have lions come over, and, and they would paint their nipples, not the lion's nipples, they would paint the, uh, the prisoner's nipples uh, with honey, and then have the lions come over and lick the, the nipples and interrogate them. They'd come back and their nipples would be all raw from lion licking. That's not true at all, but it, if it were, this is how bad of a pain it would be. Right now, I'm icing, I'm icing my left nipple because my right one's good. But this is, this is honest truth. I've been going to the gym pretty regularly for a little bit now, and uh, I decided today I, would, I wouldn't do weights or anything. I would do a, I was gonna do, um, cardio and I noticed this last time that I did cardio but I mean wow today it really there's a thing called runner's nipple and no that's not a punk band runner's nipple is like a real medical condition that really nobody knows about but my goodness it's so bad I mean it feels like somebody just paper cut my left nipple and poured capsaicin all up in there uh, you don't notice it when you're running either because of the adrenaline or whatever it is that's keeping you going. But when you stop running and the sweat gets in there, I think as you're bouncing up and down, because I started going to keggers when I was in the Navy too much, I got I developed a nice case of man tits. And uh, part of the reason that I've been going to the gym is to get rid of those man tits. Uh, but the problem is with man tits, they're jiggly wiggly. And so when I'm running... My left nipple is just jiggling like this, boing, boing, boing. And as it's happening, the nipple is rubbing against my shirt, which is made for running. But no, it's like top grain sandpaper just against my nipple. And it, it burns, it literally burns so bad. So what I'm going to have to do is every time I start, run, I start running, I'm going to have to, before I go to the gym, put band-aids on my nipples but this is the worst part I can't put band-aids on my nipples because there's too much nipple hair so what am I gonna have to do I'm gonna have to go in there humiliated in just myself really just humiliate myself by going into the bathroom getting out a little bit and I'm gonna have to shave my nipples not my chest just my nipples I'm gonna have to shave my nipples now so that I can be healthy so in order for me to be healthy, I have to get band-aids that are, I don't know, seem best for nipples, and 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 then, gosh, and then shave shave my nipples. Runner's nipple is literally the worst. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I've already been through three ice cubes. The sad part is, this is all true. Except for the Swahili, Swahili part. I mean, all that was, I just lied about all that, but anyway. I got home and I was, I was really mad for a minute, just out, out, out of nipple pain. Feels like somebody stung, like a, like a bee was like, oh, this looks like a great place to sting. Let me just sting this guy's nipple. Well, yeah. And for some reason, bees have British accents. Better get back to the colony before the queen knows I'm gone. Oh look, it's David. Let's go. Let's go pinch his nipple. Freaks. <laughs>